Good evening students this is Manas Patnaik your friend and tutor how are you all good okay all set so over the past few years i've made an observation that there are certain problems in engineering drawing which become the favorite of all the teachers and this is one such problem students call this as the three vertical pole wala problem <laughs> okay uh, these problems keep on appearing every year in their class tests and also i have seen a, a pattern in the university examinations also every third or fourth year this question repeats itself yes the datas may change the distances their length of the object may change but the essence of the problem remains intact so as a teacher it is my responsibility to discuss such an important problem and here we go let me read the question first of all i'll be explaining you the entire arrangement in 3d in autocad and then we are going to move to microsoft powerpoint and create its projections it is going to be fun okay it will take around five to six minutes so stay okay be patient here we go let me read the problem there are three vertical poles a b c d e f length of a b is five similarly length of c d is eight e f is 12 done sir so a pole has a top end and a bottom end top end is a bottom end is b okay so b d and f are the bottom ends of the three poles they are on the ground right and the poles have been arranged in such a manner that their bottom corners they sort of make an equilateral triangle that equilateral triangle is having a side length of 10 meters okay we'll be seeing all of these things happening in 3d don't worry determine graphically the distance between the top ends of the poles you need to find the distance between the top ends of the poles the distance between the bottom end of the pole has been given bd is 10 df is 10 and fb is also 10 as they are forming an equilateral triangle of 10 meter side okay now uh, this is going to be fun watch here we go this is the arrangement these are the poles or the three poles ab 5 meter long you can see this then there is cd 8 meter long and then you have ef 12 meters long the bottom of all the poles that is b d and f when joined with the help of lines they sort of make an equilateral triangle and to see the perfect equilateral triangle let me switch to the top view here it is you can see this okay now obviously you can see b written over here but as far as the top view is concerned you also have to write a the reason being very simple you see this point is a and right below a there is this point b so this is going to be simply small case letters a comma b will be implementing these things in the 2d projection don't worry right so this is the top view let me show this to you once again that's the top view and the arrangement in front view would be looking something like this you are going to see all the poles this is going to be a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash f dash these are going to be their corresponding lengths 5 8 and 12 one important thing to note is that all the dimensions have been given in meters so we cannot draw a line of 12 meter or 8 meter length what do we do then we use a scale okay we are going to assume that 1 meter is equivalent to 1 cm or 10 mm your choice okay scale completely depends on you and will not uh, i mean you can take a different scale i can take a different scale but our final answers are going to be same don't worry okay so that's the entire arrangement please take a look at it once again and this is how the three poles have been placed it is perfectly vertical you can see that okay the front view looks like this and the top view looks like this where does it ah uh, here it is right so we will now start with the projection this is going to not this is not going to take much of a time okay we go first of all you need to take a scale scale 1 meter is 1 cm 10 mm done sir make an x y line you can start here by creating the top view we know very well that from the top what we'll see is an equilateral triangle okay ab as i told you this particular point corresponds to both a and b right cd and ef 10 meter 10 meter 10 meter done take this distance as 1 cm right although i am saying 10 meters but 
the drawing length is 10 centimeters please make use of this scale done sir what about the front view sir first of all draw the projectors until you reach this line x y and then this is going to be 5 this is going to be 8 meters cd and ef is going to be 12 meters look how beautifully it has been dimensioned done sir so uh, b d the real distance between b and d is 10 meters the bottom of the pole the real distance between d and f is 10 meters the bottom of the pole we know this what we have been instructed to calculate is to determine graphically the distance between the top ends of the poles that means you need to find the distance between a and c so for the time being you can connect a dash with c dash okay how to work out the actual distance i'll let you know then connect c dash with e dash and e dash with a dash now comes the part of the problem where we are going to find the true length let's say you want to find the true length between the top a and top c so take this a dash as the center keep one leg of your compass at a other leg at c rotate rotate this line a dash c dash until it becomes parallel to x y until it becomes parallel to x y the moment this happens make this this is the new location c dash old c old c1 dash new c1 new this is the process i think we have done this oh i mean a lot of times old a dash c dash you can see this old a c done sir in the same fashion new a dash c1 dash new a c1 that is what we have to do so the true length always i represent it with the help of a green line you can see this now you simply need to keep your scale over here the physical scale that you have the plastic scale that we have and do the measurement it is going to work out as 104.4 millimeters now when you apply the scale what is the scale here it is one meter is equal to 10 millimeters and vice versa now you have to go from millimeters to meters so 104.4 millimeters will be equal to 10.44 meters that's done two more to go ac has been worked out so what about ce okay no problem take a look keep one leg of your compass at c dash other leg at e dash rotate until it becomes absolutely parallel to this xy okay so this is c dash e2 dash c dash c old e dash e old e2 dash e2 new okay c dash e dash c e2 done this green line that you see is your true length okay or is the distance between c and e and these two points are at the top of the pole so this is going to work out as simply measure them i did this initially on autocad so i am going to get the perfect values up uh, you are going to get a value which is pretty close to this one okay probably 106 107 or 108 do the conversion this is what you get done sir what's next what's next take a look here we go now uh what we shall do is we shall take a dash as the center and with this much as the radius a dash e dash as the radius so rotate done sir rotate it now it becomes absolutely parallel new location e1 dash okay the corresponding top view will be somewhere here if this is e dash e e1 dash will be somewhere here here it is so e dash is joined with a dash in the same fashion e1 will be joined with a so i have to make an overlapping line can you see this okay we zoom in can you see this now all right very well okay so once you do the measurement this is what you get and when you convert it using the scale over here this is the final value 12.2 meters so damn easy okay so if you find this content helpful do like and share the video subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications thank you very much good day